In this video, you will know how to introduce your new puppy to an older dog in a proper way. You always have doubts and fears in your mind whenever you bring home a new puppy. How will your older dog react? Will he get disappointed on seeing the new puppy, or will he become aggressive towards the new puppy? So how do we handle all these issues and fix them? To solve all these problems, please watch this video till the end. We know it will be a bit awkward, but it is possible. Try to convince an older dog before bringing a new puppy if your older dog understands your message. You'd better know how to tell your big dog by the way. Convince the older dog to accept the new puppy. An older dog will surely understand what you are saying. Keep in mind that whenever you are bringing the new puppy home, make sure that two people are available at that time. You and the other person should be at home with the older dog. Always have another person standing with the older dog when you bring the new puppy home, so that you can handle any situation. Second, remove the big dog toys from your house for some time. The big dog may also attack the new puppy to protect its toys. Take your puppy in your lap, take it to the room of your house, and put it down in the room. Let the new puppy roam the room. The puppy will walk around the room and inspect the room. Ask the other person to pick up the new puppy and let your older dog smell it. If the older dog doesn't show any tension or anger, leave the new puppy on the floor. Let the older dog investigate the new puppy, ending his stress and curiosity. Now you, too, sit on the floor with your older dog and new puppy. Watch the dog and puppy's behavior carefully and try to understand. Take care that the big dog does not misbehave with the puppy. If the big dog goes away from the puppy, let him go away. Maybe his inspection is complete. Your older dog's hatred of the new puppy is a common behavior. It will get better with time. In a week or two, the condition will be fine. Dogs are very friendly creatures and they become or make friends very soon. In the third step, as you know, the new puppy has a lot of energy and does not sleep much. On the contrary, energy and excitement decrease in the big dog, then they sleep in his crate and rest. So keep this in mind, the puppy does not try to play with a big dog while sleeping. The big dog won't like much change in his routine. If you have trained the old dog well, you will find it easier to handle it. There are many reasons why your older dog attack a new puppy. You have to understand the problem and solve it accordingly. As you already know, dogs are animals, and it is a bit difficult to be sure which option will be suitable for your old dog. Dog owners can rely on the option of dog training. Here are some more tips to prevent this problem from the older dog attacking the new puppy. Set some borderline for dog and puppy. Puppies have higher energy levels, and older dogs have less energy. Set boundaries for the puppy and the older dog to be safe in their area. Set aside the new puppy's crate and keep the crate door short. Place the new puppy's toys in his kennel. So that the new puppy is busy playing with those toys and the old dog does not feel disturbed. The new puppy has a lot of energy and plays with older dogs. Older dogs have less physical energy, so older dogs may dislike playing with the new puppy. This situation can also become a cause of conflict. Give your new puppy some physical playtime to drain off his energy to solve this problem. Give the new puppy a run in the park or on a field. This will make him physically tired to sleep comfortably in his crate. Train the puppy to play with his toys to avoid fighting with your old dog. You have to take some precautions while giving food to your old dogs and new puppy. When feeding a large dog and a puppy together, there can be a possibility of conflict, so give food to both of them at different places. Apart from this, whenever puppy and old dog spends time together, please do not give them toys. Start training your new puppy as soon as possible, so that the new puppy can learn how to live in the house and how to deal with old dogs. This training will help to end the conflict between both the dog and the puppy. You must train your new puppy to come here, go away, go to your crate, leave it, or go to another room. Know what are the 7 basic dog commands to teach and how? 
you can find the link in the description. So that in case of conflict, the new puppy will follow your orders. In addition to the previous suggestions, try to make a positive relationship between your older dog and your new puppy. As if you are sitting with an old dog and patting it. In this situation, the new puppy may try to come to you. Seeing this if the old dog growls, it indicates that the old dog and the new puppy have not yet developed a positive friendship. To solve this problem, whenever a new puppy tries to come to you, say good boy to your old dog and give him some lovely treats to eat. Conversely, if the new puppy moves away from you, do not praise or reward the old dog. Please practice this training two or three times daily. Please do this activity two or three times a day. This will make it easier for the older dog to understand what is wrong and what is right. While giving food to dogs, there is always the danger of fighting among themselves. For this, you will need to teach both the dog and the new puppy how to behave while eating. Of course, the old dog should be fed first, and the new puppy should be fed at a distance later. There is a possibility that the older dog may move closer to the new puppy's food bowl after eating its food. This situation can again lead to conflict. You will have to train both the dog and the new puppy in this situation. So that after their food is over, they come to you to get more food and demand it rather than fighting over each other's food. Encourage bonding activities to normalize the dog and puppy relationship. After the new puppy is vaccinated, take both the puppy and the dog out for a walk. For this, you have to take the help of another person to keep both separately. Taking both the dog and the puppy on a walk for two to three weeks will increase their friendship. You can take both your dog and puppy for long rides outside in your car, which will also strengthen the friendship between the two of them. However, keep in mind that keep them separately by tying them with a leash until they learn to move around together. It is the dog owner's responsibility to keep the older dog calm and understand his mental state. Keep yourself positive about the problems and solutions described in this video. How to deal with an older dog attacking a new puppy problem. Its solution will work for you, this is our effort. I hope you found this video helpful as a dog or puppy owner. Please share and subscribe to our channel if you like this video and press the bell icon. You can also visit our website for written information www.dogtoysandaccessories.com Thank you, and stay safe.